with Dr. Kaylee Garris, who is your physical therapist. Um, I decided to do this amazing picture of the vagina, and I decided to do a quick kind of review of the anatomy. Um, I can't tell you how often I have patients coming into the clinic and they don't understand their own anatomy, and they're not even sure or aware of what the vagina is and what it looks like. Um, so this, if you type into Google, is just one of the quick images that comes up from the vagina. A female anatomy, it's very normal, we all have it. And you can see that on the top is the mons pubis. The mons pubis is kind of that mushy part that's on the anterior, the front wall of the vagina. And then you have the lips or the vaginal lips. You've got the labia majora on the outside here. They're the thicker kind of tissue lips. They do have the hair on them. And then you have the labia minora, which are the ones right here on the outside. You've got the clitoral hood, which is a little hood that lays on top of the clitoris. And if that hood is to go up and back during orgasm or anything like that, then you're going to see the clitoris down there um, or in there. Also, they say that the G-spot is back there uh, near where the clitoris is, which is why there's a lot of argument on whether there is truly a G-spot or if they are saying that it's because of the closeness um, of anatomy to the clitoris. So your clitoris is up here. There's a little hood that covers that, which is awesome. You have the hair, which is good for the um, all of the good protection that you can get from that. It keeps bacteria from coming into and out of the vagina. And one thing that I wanted to say is that you are looking at the whole outside of the vagina just like this. This is your vulva. So when you hear a doctor or somebody say your vulva, that's exactly what we're talking about. Um, you can see the close proximity there to your anus. This is your perineum. If you've ever been uh, pregnant or ever done been through labor or anything like that, you probably are pretty familiar with perineal massage or you're familiar with being able to palpate that for relief of pain. Um, sometimes there's actually some sensation to that uh, during intercourse. And then you have your vaginal opening. I call that the introitus. It's just the medical word for it, but it's the same thing. You've got your vaginal opening here, and then you have your urethral opening, which is where the urine comes out. So you can see kind of the similarity there. Um, you've got the G-spot again is up here where that clitoris is, and I think that that's pretty general. Um, again, I think that it's important that we as women pay attention to our vaginas because if you don't know what it's supposed to look like and if you don't know what the structures are, then how in the world are you going to know what's wrong or if anything is wrong? So that's really the main reason that I wanted to hop on here and do this today is just so that I could give you guys a quick idea of what it is, what it looks like. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any comments or concerns. Thanks guys.